Hello friends, today I will discuss the speed control of three phase induction motor by stator voltage control method. In this video, first the general methods of speed control will be discussed and later the stator voltage control uh, method is discussed and the torque relation with the applied voltage is discussed then how the speed is related to the torque is discussed and then how the speed is related to the slip is also discussed and then torque slip and torque speed characteristics of the stator voltage control method will be discussed. So first let me see what are the different types of speed control of three phase induction motor. So if you look at this so there are three ways to control the speed of the three phase induction motor. One is by changing the frequency of the supply. The other is by changing the number of poles on the stator. The other is by changing the slip of the induction motor. So to get the change in the slip, there are three methods available. One is to in the slip ring induction motor that is rotor circuit resistance control method. So next is stator voltage control method which is used for the squirrel cage induction motor. Similarly, rotor voltage injection method which is used in the slip ring induction motor. So in, in this video, stator voltage control method will be used, uh, con I mean discussed. So in the stator voltage control method, voltage will influence the torque and torque is influences the speed and the speed influences the slip. So the circuit diagram, general circuit diagram is like this. Three phase AC supply is connected to the stator of the three phase induction motor via a three phase auto transformer to get the variable voltage at the stator terminals. The starting torque equation for the three phase induction motor is known as K into E2 square into R2 divided by R2 square plus X2 square. Here E2 is nothing but the rotor induced EMF when the rotor is at standstill and this value depends upon the applied voltage per phase on the stator and R2 is the rotor resistance per phase and X2 is the rotor reactance per phase. R2 and X2 are uh, constants and K is already constant. So this constant terms can be replaced with a term called K1 while E2 is replaced with the V that is applied voltage per phase to the stator. So the starting torque becomes directly proportional to applied voltage square and slip can be defined as like this. Slip is equal to synchronous speed minus rotor speed divided by synchronous speed. So the, the torque is directly proportional to the square of the applied voltage. Once the torque is torque changes, automatically speed changes. Once the speed changes, automatically slip also changes. So here, this is the torque versus uh, speed. This is different voltages applied to the stator. This is V1, this is V2 and this is V3. So when V1, V1 is highest voltage and V3 is the lowest value. When V1 voltage is applied to the stator winding, the curve becomes like this. So at zero speed, this is the torque. Whereas at the synchronous speed, this is the torque. Zero means slip is zero and the speed of the rotor is considered as ns similarly when the voltage is reduced to v2 then the curve becomes like this similarly when the voltage further reduced to v3 then the characteristic will become like this so when the load curve is drawn which is connected to the motor load curve comes like this and this is the between uh, when the slip is very small, that region is called the stable region that is to the left of the maximum torque region and uh, the, the point of uh, operating speed is nothing but the intersection of the load curve with the voltage versus torque curve. 
so here when the voltage applied is v1 the rotor speed will become n1 when the voltage is reduced to v2 then the operating uh, speed of the rotor becomes n2 means reduces and if the voltage is further reduced then the operating uh, speed of the rotor becomes n3 so as the voltage reduces automatically speed of the induction motor reduces and uh, correspondingly slip also changes so here in corresponding to ns zero ns speed is ns means slip is zero when the slip becomes speed becomes zero then slip becomes one